Hey buddies, here we are coming out of Baby Driver. We're doing another one of these. Becky and I haven't talked to each other about it, and it's odd not having heard her opinion before <laughs> going on camera. I'm using a really wide angle lens as an experiment, and I think that maybe it was a mistake. This is really trippy. <laughs> it's really throwing me off, because when you get up close, it's like, it makes the vlog more fun. Maybe I'll take it off once we stop walking. Anyways, we just saw Baby Driver, and I thought that it was fucking fun. Yeah. Um, and I was expecting, actually, to already to ask Becky's opinion um, before we got out. I said, what'd you think? And you didn't go nuts. Yeah, no. I, I thought it was the type of movie that you were going to go crazy about as soon as we got out. Like that, or, like, as soon as I looked at you, I thought you were going to be like... It's so hard because um, your was, eyes are watering. I know they When hurt will you realize so that you much, have to wear glasses? Um, I don't know because people hyped it up so much. Like I need to stop listening to people. I think. Oh, I you thought that it got hyped up too so much? So much going into it. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I fucking loved it. But as I think, I thought it was more, fucking like, fun. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> it I was thought, such a you movie. I know. I don't know. I thought that so much of it, I thought it was all gonna be like super action and to the beat, everything. That's it was! I was and I'm expecting a stickler. so much more okay. because people we'll go, okay, let's, we'll go, all right, well, let's talk about what we liked and then we'll go into nitpicks. Okay. I thought it was, okay, here's what you gotta know going into the film. It's different and I, first of all, I'm gonna take this off, it's too distorted. There, I'll just hold it back a little bit further from me. You just have to go in knowing that it's different, and that gets huge bonus points from me. Yeah, totally. It is pure cheese. <laughs> Don't take it seriously. And, my final thing, see it in the theater. Because really? I don't think that that's going to be fun as fun at home. I think it needs to be a big sound, that's and it so has to be funny. big in your face. Because I think outside of the theater, it's a mediocre film. Really? Yeah. I was thinking, it's not like, mediocre, but like, just not as good. Like, ah, I am as happy I saw it in theater because, okay, so first of all, the whole thing revolves around songs, and if you're not familiar with our movie reviews, we, you have to direct me out, Becky, I don't know how to yeah, get out. I know. Okay. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, us talking about films, we'll get more spoilery as we go on, and we'll tell you when we're about to get spoilery. So, the whole thing is about a kid, and you can see this in the trailer. He's a kid who has tinnitus because of an accident he got in. And his whole life he's been a driver, for a getaway driver, for bad people. And there's reasons behind that. Uh, and to drown out the tinnitus, since the ringing in his ears bugs him, he listens to music as he drives. So every getaway in the film, and there's many of them, <laughs> has a song as the background. And every turn of the wheel, every corner he takes, every step he takes in his own life walking down the sidewalk is to the music in a super cheesy way in a super ridiculous over the top way yeah. and that's why I can't believe that you didn't rave coming out that's what one thing I was like eh. this is the type of stuff the cheesy I stuff know. is what you always go for I, I don't get it I, was, I don't get I it was just kind of like... <clears throat> I thought that. that all of those things I just explained could have been done a little bit better at certain points. I felt like it was a lot of, um, it does a lot of things to try to not be too obvious sometimes, even though it is cheese. I think it goes to great lengths to try to like surprise you. And because of that, they're constantly taking like, basically sometimes literally hard lefts. Yeah. Like as you yeah, yeah, think yeah. that a scene is beginning, things happen and then like things go wrong just like any good bank robbery film I guess uh -huh. so um, and that's again not really a spoiler the trailer kind of shows bank robberies going wrong yeah. as bank robberies do in bank robbery films <laughs> um, and it happens throughout the film and I think that sometimes it's almost a little bit whiplashy where I would I do sometimes for a, a music a, a <laughs> movie that's a, this kid can't believe what I'm doing just staring at me um, for a, a movie that's about music and driving, I wish it had a bit more flow at sometimes instead of like crash, flow, about. crash. Yes. So I can understand that the rhythm didn't get, get like just when you think you're getting yeah. into it, it like. That's exactly. Especially what if I a, felt. if like your favorite song starts up yeah. and then it doesn't get enough airplay. Yeah. Some songs don't get much time. Sometimes they're literally just like shut off. Yeah. Oh. So, but anyways. 
Um, it's, I guess to summarize, it's a romp, it's cheesy, it's silly, and it's a lot of fun in the movie theater. It's definitely a popcorn film, and it's different, and that always gets yeah. huge bonus points from yeah. me because I'm so sick of the same old crap. Yeah. It's different in a way that you'll probably sometimes giggle at or like snicker at even, like, you know, that's so ridiculous. Just enjoy it. That's what I say about this film. So you feel the same way about that? Um, yeah, I do. Yes. <laughs> Anything to add to that? Um, not until we get into more spoilery things, I think. Alright, so let's just talk about, before we get into spoilery stuff, we'll talk about the cast as usual. We'll talk about the big names right off the bat. Kevin Spacey is in it. And he was awesome. He played his part well. He it's hard. Really it's hard not to see him as, um... Frank Underwood. Frank Underwood, yeah, of course. Yeah, totally is. But, uh, but why isn't he talking with an accent? <laughs> Come on. But he does a great job as uh, in his role, and wow. Hey. Um, and then uh, uh, John, John Hamm oh. is in it <laughs> oh as God. one of the criminals, I and just, he I is can never take... amazing. He's like, I just always expect him to come out with a goofy smile. He kind he, of plays that character. I know. He plays he kind of oh my God, he's John Hamm, he's as he always incredible. does. He's like kind yeah. of suave, but at the same time a goof, and you're like, you can't take him too seriously, and I think that they put him into the perfect role Yeah. Um, because of that. Yeah. Uh, what's his name in? Uh, Jamie... Oh yeah, I don't... Uh, Jamie Foxx oh. is in it, and um, you know what? We were actually in a good spot, because the reflection off oh. the building really lit us up well. Uh, Jamie Foxx was in it as another one of the bank robbers. Uh -huh. um, and I think he did a great job. There's actually a great moment in the... I don't... Um, I don't oh, okay. <laughs> you don't want to say spoilers that they'll hear? Yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah, I think this is a good spot. Okay. Um, uh, Jamie Foxx did a good job in his role, um, and then who else was there? Uh, I don't know the girl's the name, John Hamm's girlfriend's name. Monica is that Okay, name. I don't know the actress, but she did a good job, I guess, in her role. <laughs> and um, that's, I think, like, all of them played fun, goofy characters, kind of. Like, and that's yeah. the nature of the film. They like, they're trying to be kind of over the top. Yeah. It's like, it felt like a Tarantino type flick. Like, it was every character is like a like a caricature, almost comic book like. Yeah. And there are gonna be a lot of people who go, this is gonna be the one of those films that people are like, I hated that, I did not, I, it just was weird. <laughs> and it was, it just didn't make any sense. That's what's gonna come out of it, is a lot of people who don't understand what they got into. Yeah. Um, and the trailer's not gonna help that, because the trailer had like, now that I've seen the film, had semblances of like, what I remember being awesome, but there was, in the trailer, I don't, I think the trailer did a bad job, though, of really getting across how fucking badass some of the moments are in the, in the yeah. movie, and how goofy it is, and how weird it is. Um, but then, uh, anyways, Baby, the, the guy who plays Baby, I didn't think I was gonna like him. I did not either. In the trailer, I didn't think that the character, I, I was gonna like the character at all, but they do yeah. a really good job of humanizing him. He's not just like, when I saw the trailer, I thought he was gonna just be like this badass cool guy, like a new James Dean type. Yeah. And that's, there, there was, they were clearly like giving him inflections of James Dean, yeah. as would like the role just like begs for it. <laughs> but they make him, they, they just make him more approachable, definitely. Like everybody's going to probably like him, I think. I think so. Um, I don't see why you couldn't. Really they do a lot of things to make him likable, like, and, and, and more in just, more than just the way that, like, girls are gonna fawn for him. He's not just a pretty boy, uh, character. But yeah. they do a really good job, almost like a tongue-in-cheek way of making him a pretty boy, like, suave, like, heartthrob type guy. <laughs> yeah, they do some cute things. Uh, speaking of which, off that, um, the love interest, the waitress, uh, is cast perfectly at being, like, Basically, it looks like she has an orgasm every time he speaks. Yeah. So she was cast perfectly for that role. Uh -huh. um, but the, their interactions were well done, I thought. Are they just smoking pot? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. We're getting I, I'm getting wafts of it. Just, oh, welcome to Vancouver. I hope the breeze changes direction. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm being polluted by somebody else's joy. No. <laughs> Except it's a sticky, greasy joy. Uh, 
Um, anyways, yeah, she was d done perfectly because it like their interactions looks like they want to kiss. Like it's one of those things where their chemistry is so good, they're just like just fuck already. Like yeah, I want to totally. see it. <laughs> Too like, bad it's just do it. A. Like it looks God. like you made. Yeah, was there? It, it wasn't even like R or anything like that. No, it was fourteen A. Yeah, it was like even though they, they say the fuck word and stuff, and there is violence. Yeah. But it's not as gratuitous as it could be. There's blood every so often, but it's nowhere near as. They do a was, good job of making it. A. Yeah. No. No. I'm saying like, but you'd think because of the theme. That yeah. there, it would have gone way further. Yeah. They definitely stayed within 14A, which was surprising and an interesting choice, I think. Mm -hmm. um, that people will be able to go to that. Like, this looks like the type of thing that, and I'm, I guess I'm glad because I think a lot of kids are going to come out of this. Like, uh, the age I was when I watched Fight Club, they're going to, oh, like, this damn. is going to be one of their favorite films. Yeah. I think because it's what so age different. Is that? I don't know. I forget now. Probably but, like 14. Um, so I think maybe we'll start to build into. Spoilers, we mentioned all the actors, I think, the main actors, besides the one dude at the beginning who is one of the other robbers oh. who we never see again. What about uh, his step, uh, his step foster dad? That was some more of the cheese. They, they go so far to show you how, you know, like on the topic of how, what an approachable, nice character he is, they go so far with it and yeah. it even becomes a film, like a, a, a theme of the film. Yeah. Um, to, to some degree of like oh it totally does comedy like it's 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 yeah for the sake of comedy I think yeah. there's no way they don't intend it um <laughs> is that the same one it is yeah. uh just the little girl that was staring at me earlier um okay so anyways spoiler territory then so if you I recommend it go ahead I do too. this next segment I totally is do for too. Even though I came too. out of it like, eh, it's because I was expecting something different, and the I was expecting rhythm and momentum and like. I think I've had a bad influence on Becky. She's what? become a bigger curmudgeon like the longer we're together. Why do you she used do to just to unabashedly love everything, and now I'm gonna get more in he the moved sun away here. From me. Um, and now she's like always the one who needs to like be the stickler. Like it's I don't know. I've already said it. It's not as good as Hamilton. <laughs> All right. So anyways, um, I do recommend it if you just want a fun, silly movie. Go on Cheap Night. I don't think, like, it, it's not going to be a, a film that, like, you know, uh, defines the year or anything like that. But it's a really fun little trip. It's exactly what films are for. Mm -hmm. It's what movies are for at the theater. It's like rides, I think. It's like treating the movie like a ride. And to me... That's what it was. And then we'll get into that now. So go see it. If you, and if you've seen it, watch the rest of this now. All right, so spoilers. Um, well, there's not a lot I'm going to spoil. I mean, it was just where it goes, how silly yeah. it gets. Yeah. The places it goes, the payoff for me. I was a little bit worried at the beginning that it was going to go some typical places, but it doesn't. Like, you, you, the guys that you think are going to be the good guys end up being the bad guys. Like, John Hamm becomes the biggest <laughs> bad guy. That was super good. Which starts to like show its head as she gives the speech where she says, I'm going to do the talking on this one. And then she says that like when, you know, people mistreat me, all he sees is red and all oh, you're see going to see is black. Flash. And he's just smoldering, sitting there like doing what John Hamm is so good at doing, which is like getting that under the surface wrath that you sometimes see in his characters. Yeah. and. At the same time, he's such a weird, silly character as he's even going through like his final phases of being the ultimate bad guy, being yeah. shut down. He's like, he was perfect. He was maniacal. He almost looked like he belonged in like a Batman film <laughs> or something like that. Um, I'm gonna get flagged just because somebody's walking around obnoxiously with music in their purse. Oh no. In a Beats thing. Let's walk along from here. Um, so, uh, I guess that, yeah, there's not a lot to say besides that. That's the major spoiler, is it goes places that you don't expect, yeah. and that's the real payoff, is when it starts to pay it, like, go into these, uh, these scenes that just twist about and just, like, keep on being like, surely that's it, and it's like, no. Nope. Well, there are so and many And then some times. other fucking bullshit happens. Yeah, there are so many times where it's like, how the fuck is he 
gonna get out of it. And he does it. <laughs> and he doesn't. No way. So yeah. it, like it's no happy. Well, it's kind of like a happy ending because he like finally. Yeah. But it's cool. I was like, there's so many things that surprise you. So about the characters, that's really interesting. Like, uh, you know, when um, Kevin Spacey's character says like I was in love once and you didn't think you thought he was gonna be the hardest one yeah like he was gonna be the most vindictive and then he tries to help him yeah. to the point where he sacrifices himself I thought I said <laughs> I thought I said run that was amazing that and was it was so really heartbreaking good. I didn't yeah. think that the most heartbreaking part in the film would be for the guy that I thought was gonna be the biggest bad guy yeah yeah um that's true and then uh what was the other thing that was surprising was um, Spacey's character. Oh, and Baby himself ends up being. He ends up going pretty bad. He's looking ruthless. He like... keeps his entire for his entire career as the driver. He keeps his himself clean. He's the one who stays in the clear, and then he decides to start shooting He's people. Just like... Even All though they're right, bad people, this. but he decides to go full out, and I, you didn't think he had, he had it in him. And yeah. so through the whole thing, like I felt as though, like even though it was cheesy, even though it was silly and stupid, so much of it, yeah. I felt on the edge of my seat. Like I actually cared about the outcome. Yeah. A little bit, even yeah. though it was so un not believable and stupid, uh -huh. I still cared. Like I was a little nervous. It's pretty cool that like he actually goes to prison. Like, yeah. And I think that was like, once that added to the film was that once you realized that they were capable of doing this, once you realized that they were willing to go unexpected places, you got worried about the characters. Yeah. Because like, oh man, nothing's sacred in this world. Yeah. It's not going to go typical places. Things aren't going to work out. Can we talk about the, the post office? Yeah. Heist? And like when he shakes at her, his head at her, and you think that's gonna be like this moment where he gets out the somehow. Get away. Like, yeah, and then he, <laughs> when he decides to kill Jamie Foxx's character by driving right into the thing. It's funny because as soon as I saw the rebar, I was like, oh man, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that it might play into the film, and it does. And he uses it to yeah. kill Jamie Foxx's character. That was that was pretty wild. So many things happen. Like I don't want to. I'm not gonna just like sit here and name off all the spoilers. Mainly, I just wanted to have a segment where I, I talk, talk about, about the payoff. Yeah. And the payoff was the twist, the constant twists from then on. If I had to nitpick, uh -huh. I would say that maybe, I'm sorry that these reviews are just me talking a mile a minute, but I have a lot to say sometimes and Becky doesn't. I'm a yes man. Well, she just doesn't seem to have a lot to say about this one. <laughs> I don't really. Yeah. I just I because I need more time to think about it. Sometimes you come she does. Out, like, yeah. With opinions immediately, and I'm just like, well, that was not what I was expecting. Because usually all. when I t watch TV, I talk constantly. Yeah. And movies are the one place where I'm not allowed to talk, so <laughs> mm -hmm. I just take jot notes in my head, and then when it's over, I get to spill everything. I definitely need to And that's why maybe to, like, these make sense. Sit for a while. She needs to take inventory and decide what <laughs> she actually thought. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, what was my, uh, my final thought was going to be about, um, oh, nitpicks. Mm. I would nitpick a little bit that I think at the beginning, maybe to contrast the rest of the film, they did this on purpose. It's a little bit slow paced at some points. Um, it builds characters and relationships. It's hard to say. One thing that really is kind of a shame is that one of my favorite getaway scenes, and I think the best getaway scene in the entire film, because it actually goes without any problems, is... Those guys thought this was funny. <laughs> um, is that they... Yeah, is that, like, the, it goes by without any problems, and that's just what you were saying. Like, for the rest of the film, you don't really get that again crashes happen and they stop your favorite songs and moments yeah, yeah. from becoming these beautiful getaways and it's almost like I wish a few more getaways were a little bit more smooth but in addition to what I was saying about the contrast of the film they made that first getaway the best getaway the volume was lower than the whole film because they wanted to ramp up mm. they wanted it like they do that specifically that's, that's why a lot of the movies that you watch when you're at home if you don't have like one of those equalization things on your receiver they movie sounds go up and down like crazy especially in films with action they want that on purpose so that you're startled by the big action right it sucks for your neighbors but that's what they're designed for so that beginning scene so that the rest of the film would seem even more intense they made that first scene kind of low volume and that sucked huh. 
I, if I watched that again at home, I would ramp that up all the way. It's kind of yeah. freaking me out. You're just staring at me I'm and never sorry. at the camera. <laughs> it's like, what do you expect me to do? <laughs> You're just like, can we go home now? So that's what it looks like on your face. Do you no. need to pee? No, okay. nothing. I'm just, all right. I'm just listening. What are so, you going to say next? <laughs> overall, I'm surprised Becky didn't love it. Maybe when she thinks that maybe if she had been given time to incubate it, she would have decided she loved it. Maybe she's it like was, this. It's all about the she's pacing. totally like this. And it was like people said it was like the greatest thing. Ben ever. said that, and he didn't even say that. He said people. It wasn't just Ben. Ben said that people have been saying it's really fucking good. That's all he said, and then you it's not blew just it ben. out of proportion. Who else said this? I don't want to blame people. All right. Um, just general chat people though. Like, oh, I've been people hearing, in the chat yeah. said that it was awesome. Yeah. Okay. And like balls to the wall. So that's what I was expecting. All right. Well, maybe you need to start taking it with a grain of salt. Maybe. So that you don't go. <laughs> I thought it was about, fun. Um, it wasn't like this isn't like Mad Max great, but it was fun. Yeah. It was a surprise, and I kind of. The thing is, it's tough because like if you hadn't heard that it was like that good, you wouldn't have gone to see I'd it. I probably. Well, it probably would have had a more favorable... We no. barely get out of the house to see the major must-see movies. We didn't yeah. even see the second Star Wars film. We didn't even see the second Guardians. We didn't even see Logan. We didn't see Logan. What the fuck's wrong with us? We're yeah. that bad. We're trying to get better. This was our attempt. And if we hadn't heard from some people that this was yeah. really good, I wouldn't have gone to see it. And I'm so glad I did. I loved it. I thought it was great. <laughs> it was really good. It's, it's... I would recommend it. I totally would recommend it. It's a fun time. And yeah. it's different. All right. That's our little <laughs> spiel. See you later, guys. Thanks Bye. for watching.